UN Development Agency is stalling solar energy at Zimbabwean clinics and hospitals. Zimbabwe is facing long hours of power cuts due to its dilapidated infrastructure and the impact of reoccurring droughts on hydropower. To help, the United Nations Development Program is installing solar panels on government-owned health facilities. Let's listen to this. Programs, solar for health project. That includes more than 1,000 health centers in Zimbabwe, the largest program in the world, says UNDP resident representative in Zimbabwe, Aloya Dele Odusola. If you put all the renewable energy capacity that we have generated in the country, is 13.03 megawatts, which account for 35% of all independent power production, the one that is not done by government. It's huge as an individual entity. Zimbabwe has for years been facing energy shortages. Long hours of power cuts affect even hospitals. Dr. Nasisi Janga is the chief medical officer at Imperial Central Hospital, one of the health institutions which have benefited from the Solar for Health project. All the news that used to make the headlines in the newspapers that Imperial has no electricity for two days, three days, that should be a thing of the past. It's a real game changer. Tandasan Chingila is happy. His father's posted cancer operation went through a Impilo Central Hospital without a power shortage. Impilo is off grid now, which means Impilo uh, will totally be independent because of this solar, so, w- which is uh, marvelous to us. Authorities hope the switch to solar energy is seamless at all health facilities in Zimbabwe installed with solar power and access is released the national grid this is really commendable um the un you did a good job for coming through for them you know what it means to find yourself in a hospital where there is power shortage it's not it's not a good one because they will be having lots of casualties un did noble for coming through for them in this aspect, this is a very it has it, it, it like it will go a long way to sort out this power shortage issue. It's a good one and very commendable. Thank you very much again for your time. I don't take it for granted. Hope to see you in my next as I bring you away again more trending news. Bye.